Okay, go full speed here. BMGs. Pressure out this way. Still left shift, so I'm happy here. Okay, BMG here, Blitz. Okay, BMG on the wind, on the wind. Nice. That's good. With the boats of this America's Cup firing around the race course of the Whitemata Harbour, touching speeds of 50 knots, one of the crucial things to racing is a principle that we all know in sailing as VMG. VMG, or Velocity Made Good, is a pretty simple concept that applies when racing upwind or downwind. In a racing scenario, it's an important number. A good VMG will get you where you need to be having travelled the shortest distance at the highest speed, which critically means you have done it in the quickest time possible. But the best place to illustrate this is out on the water. I'm sailing upwind here at a speed of around 16 knots and 45 degrees to the wind. I know my moth set up pretty well. It's good VMG. If I wanted more speed, I'd head down a little bit. I'd bear away as we see here. My actual speed increases, but look at my VMG, it's decreasing. I'm traveling faster over the water, but I'm now heading further away from our target point, our upwind race mark. Let's now see what happens if I head upwind. We start off on optimum VMG, but if I head higher, pointing the boat closer to the upwind mark, I'm shortening our course, but I'm losing boat speed. I'm now too much into the wind and my VMG is dropping. I'm sailing a shorter distance, but I'm doing it at a lower speed. If we take a look at this alternate angle, sailing on this heading to our race mark, I'm on optimal VMG. I'm combining the shortest distance with the maximum speed. But now I bear away, I speed up. I'm no longer at optimum VMG because I'm sailing a longer distance to the mark. I'm faster, but in the wrong direction. And it's the same if I head too far into the wind. I leave my optimum VMG. I may be shortening the distance to our upwind mark, but I'm losing speed and my VMG is decreasing. I'm sailing too slow to be competitive. So that's the principle of VMG. And in this America's Cup, it's super important. These AC75s are incredibly efficient. They sail incredibly fast for a given wind speed, but sailing too fast in the wrong direction and you're doing yourself no favours. These AC75s are really aerodynamic. On board, travelling at up 50 knots, reading the actual wind is a big ask. But they're also packed full of technology, allowing the sailors to accurately seek their optimum VMG. So in fast foiling boats like these, sailing the shortest distance at the highest speed, that's what's going to win the races.